having this particular text. As I mentioned, it is quite simple, it is very easy to understand, and you just have to run the code, double click it, and there it is. Actually, as you can see, nothing happened because now the, hot, the, the, the program is running on the background waiting for me to press the backspace. And there you go. So basically, creating a hotkey is just a matter of putting what key you want to hotkey and the action that you want to put separated by two columns. Now, if you want to add modifiers like, for example, the control key, the alt key, the win key, or the shift key, then you just use one of the following codes. For control, you just use you're gonna use the caret. So this is the control the control key. For the alt key, you're gonna use the the exclamation sign. So this is gonna be the alt key. This is gonna be the shift key, and the pound sign is gonna be the win key. So again, um, let's say I want to create control backspace as my hotkey. Then I have to put a caret in here because our hotkey is going to take that caret and think, well, he pressed the control key. So, control backspace, that's how you create it. But if you want to put more modifier keys, like control alt shift backspace, then you just put them one after the other. Basically, the, the order doesn't matter, you just put them however you want, and you save your code. And when it is running on the background, then it is just going to be waiting for you to press this particular hotkey. Simple as that. Now, uh, that is one of the main um, functions of auto hotkey. But there's another one, which is creating hot strings. And hot strings is just expansion of um, abbreviations. So, for example, let's say I want to put a um, COD. This is my abbreviation for coding. So basically, to tell auto hotkey to expand that for me, I just put two columns at the beginning of the line, and then I'm going to put the abbreviation. I put two columns again, and I put the string that I want to expand to. So basically, now when I run my pro, my script. It is going to be in the background waiting for me to type COD. And at any point when I put a punctuation sign or a space, the file, the, the, the abbreviation will be expanded. So anything like a space or a comma is going to trigger that. Very simple. And actually you can expand it to any kind of uh, string that you want. You can put um, coding in AHK, for example. Let's run that. Basically, it's the same. You just simply double click your script. And every time you type this, it is going to expand it to the text that you specified. And this is very, very useful, especially for people that, for example, work in places that they have to type a string over and over again. You just simply add a small abbreviation or even a key. For example, you can set this as number one. And every time you type number one and put a dot or a space, it will expand to that particular text. But what if I want to expand it without having to put a dot or a space? Then you just simply save, let's say this is our string. Then you just put an asterisk between the first two columns. So that particular asterisk is telling out a hotkey that when I type those three letters, it will automatically expand it without waiting for me to put a space or anything. So it is very simple. And this particular thing is very, very powerful because you can also, instead of putting a, a, a string like just text, you can expand an action. So let's say that when you type those three letters, you want the message box to appear saying, yeah, calling in AHK. <laughs> so for that, what we're going to do is that we're going to earn add this particular word at the end. First of all, if you want to um, execute code, you cannot put it right next to the string in here, to the hot string abbreviation. You cannot put it right there. You have to put it one line before. You can put 
several actions. Let's say you want to put another action. So basically I'm telling that this particular string when I type it, it is going to first show me a dialog with that particular text and then it's going to show me another dialog with another text. Then at the end I have to add the word return which is going to tell key that this particular execution ends right there and it is going to continue executing anything else that was on the code. So in this case, as that is the only thing, it will just simply go back and wait for me to type it again. So let's run it and give it a, text, uh, a test. So we just simply double click it, it is waiting for me and as fast um, as long as I type those three letters those two actions are gonna come one by one. Let's say that you want to run a program, let's, then let's put the option run Notepad. Again, look how simple the commands are. They are very easy to understand, most of them. Of course, there are some commands that are a little bit obscure, obscure but usually the, co the commands have some names that with a little bit of, um, of common sense, you can understand what is going on. So right now, I just simply say COD and a notepad window is going to appear. Just because um, that's what we told it to do in, a, in three lines. So, as you can see, this particular um, language it is very flexible. It is um, easy to understand, but at the same time, it is very, very powerful. One thing that I'm gonna recommend is just simply go ahead and open the auto, auto hotkey help file that comes with the with the installer, or go to the website. They have the documentation right there. And on the top, whenever you have a question, you simply open the help file, put the name of the command that you want to check, and as you can see, you're gonna get information about what part that particular command does. So you're gonna get the command, what are the obligatory parameters, what are the optional parameters, and then at the end, at the bottom, you will have some examples. So you should be able to understand everything very easily. But what happens is that usually if you have been coding for a while or you have been reading for a while, some of the commands can become a little bit confusing to understand and that's what I want to address with these videos. So um, these videos I'm going to be showing you by doing um, the script myself in front of you, you will be able to see how I do it. I'm gonna explain um, the logic behind what I just did, which will be a little bit easier to understand than just reading a file that have this, uh, you know, a, a bunch of things that you have to read, and then after you read one, then you have to read the other one, and it can become a little bit tiring. So with this, I hope to I hope that I help a, a lot of people that are. Um, beginning with our hotkey and if you are an advanced user then check out the advanced section which might be added a little bit later um, because I'm gonna be also showing how I create some programs that are a little bit more complicated than just simply sending some messages <laughs> into the screen right so with this I'm gonna be finishing this particular introductory video I hope to see you guys um, online on the IRC chat um, the link is in the description remember that the, the links for the external lecture for notepad notepad plus plus is also in the description and please comment and rate if you like it and see you again in another video. Thanks for watching it.